Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this project, we're going to create a sample database that we will be using in our future microcontroller application. So in this case, I have here a database created using the SQL Live. I only have one table here, which is the students table, and it contains the, the different columns that will represent our students. We will use the following columns later on in our microcontroller application. I have used the SQL Lite database in here since it is much easier to, to use and we don't need to configure a lot of things. Unlike using regular database such as the MySQL or PostgreSQL. If you are excited, then let's start exploring. Okay, so start creating the database that we are going to be using in our future microcontroller application. Okay, so just go to this link, the github.com donskitech database project, and then click on this green link here, and then download the zip file. Upon downloading, unzip the file in any available directory that you have in your laptop or your computer. Will you upon unzipping, you'll be able to see the following files in there. The most important one is the student dbutils.py, which contains the code that will create our database using the, the SQL Lite database engine. We also have the student db.sql here, which discuss uh, the table that we are going to be creating. In this case, it is students table. And the student db.db. This is actually the SQL Lite engine. Uh, database that we have created so and also we need to download the GUI tool that we are going to be using to view the entries in our tables so just go to this link and click the download button here and zip it also to any directory that is available to you let's now start how we can create the database. So uh, I have unzipped the file in my D git database project. And then we just need to delete this file, the student db.db, so that we will just recreate this one later on. Okay. I have deleted it already and then upon deleting just go to the directory and then execute the following code called python and then look for the file student dbutils.py and then click execute. You will see that it is executed the, the following command and then the SQLite script was executed also, and then we have successfully created the table. Okay, so as you could see, the student db.db is now created to us. So let's just go over with the code so that we'll be, you'll be able to understand what happens in here. So I have here a function called the uh, dbconnect. So as you can see, we are creating the database using the SQL Lite module of the Python. So there's no need for us to install anything in the Python because it is included in the standard Python library. We just need to set the default path where we wanted to uh, save our sample database. And I have here the create table scripts which creates the, date that the table that we are going to be using and the create student task, which basically inserts the data in our 
sample table called the students. And in the create students, you would see that I have created three sample students here called Adam Smith, Steve Davidson here. And the main function that we can, that will execute all of our command. Okay. Now, to be able to see what is inside our database, we'll use the tool that we have downloaded before. Just go to the SQLite Studio, double click that one, and then we'll be able to see the, the GUI for that one. Then click database and add the data. Then click the database and then add database. Click the grid icon, then locate the student db dot db, then click save. Then let's try click OK and double click this one. We see that we have here the students table. And in the students table, you will see that if you click the data tab, you will see that we have created our student ID here. And there is a name in here also and some sample RFID code. Later on, we're going to create sample application that uses the, the RFID that will validate if the student is able to enter using the RFID tag. And that's it. Okay, happy exploring!